children read out the given question count the objects and write the number now here they have given the objects in group as well as in units in singles group means one group is having 10 objects so they have given here four examples and four examples are having some group of tens as well as singles or units we have to add and tell its exact number by looking at the picture and by counting the objects so now let's start our first example is about the rings and one group of ring means 1 10 so 1 10 plus how many singles let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total single six rings are here that means what is our answer this is 1 10 and these singles six means total 16 rings we are having okay children total how many rings are here 16 110 plus 6 single 6 units is equal to 16 rings now we'll proceed on our next objects see here matchsticks and they have form each group 10 sticks are there so how many group of sticks are here 1 2 3 and 4 so total four group of 10 and singles how many let us count 1 2 3 4 and 5 that means five singles 4 10 plus five singles that are 40 Five sticks. Okay, children. Forty-five sticks are here. Forty-five sticks. Now let's go on the flower. Our third example is about the flower. And total, how many groups you you can see, children? There are three groups of flower. First, second, and third. That means one ten, two ten, and three ten. Three ten means thirty plus. How many singles? One, two, and three. Three singles. That means three ten plus three. That is thirty-three flowers. Okay. So we are having here thirty-three flowers. Okay, children. Then we'll go on our next example. That is about the string of beads. Okay, it is called string of beads. See, first group, second, third, and fourth. One ten, two ten, three ten, four ten. Four ten means forty. Plus, how many singles can you see? One and two. That means four ten plus two units is equal to forty. Two beads is equal to how many beads, children? Forty-two beads. So I hope, children, you must have understood how to count the object in groups and how to write their numbers, isn't it? Now we are going in our maths textbook. So, children, open your maths textbook, page number twelve, and let's read. with me see counting in groups counting in groups now count and write now see can you see the matchsticks over here and how many are there let's count together 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 
then 31 32 33 34 35 so total how many sticks are here 35 okay you also write in your textbook if you are having total 35 sticks are here so now see let's read yash and rama counted these sticks by two different methods which are they this is a boy and his name is Yash and it is a girl and her name is Rama. So Yash counted the sticks serial order wise that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so till 35, okay. So he counted like that one after the other serial order wise. Whereas Rama, she formed the group of tens. She formed a group of tens and see how many groups she formed. She formed three groups of tens and how many single sticks are left? Count one, two, three, four, five. That means three ten plus five. That is thirty five. Okay, children. Now let's read. It is easier to count if we make groups of ten. It is easier to count if we make groups of ten. See children here also how long it took to count yes or no. We have to point out each sticks and go on counting. Whereas here it is very easy just by looking at the groups we can tell that this is first, second, three, third. That means three tens and these singles are five so 35. So second way is much easier compared to first way of counting. Children, did you get? So, let's go on the next. Ahmed's friends have some sticks. They have been counted by making groups of 10. So, let's count here. Salma had 24 sticks. So, she made the group of 10 and she got the 2 10. Okay, 2 10. And this single sticks 1, 2, 3, 4. So she got 4 single sticks. That means 2 10 plus 4 units. That is 24 sticks. Now we will proceed on the next example. See, Sharad had 45 sticks. 45 means 4 tens, 4 group of tens plus 5 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 4 ten. Here you have to write. 4, 10 and 5 single units. That is 45. That is 45. Did you get children? Now we will go on the next. See. Let us also count the things shown below in the same way. See children. What can you see in the first picture? Here they have shown the sticks. Match sticks. They have made Group of sticks and some single sticks. Let us count. How many group of sticks are here? There are two groups of sticks. And how many single or loose sticks are here? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 loose sticks are here. That means we are having two tens. Plus 6 single sticks and that is 26. We are having 2 tens and 6 singles, 6 units. So that is 26. So let us write here 2 ten and 6 units that is 26. Okay. Now see the next. We are having the. Beads of string. Okay. And how many strings are here? 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 tens. 4 string of bead means 4 tens. And how many loose beads are here? 1, 2 and 3. 3 single loose beads are here. So that means 4 tens plus 3 units is equal to 43. So let's write here children. 4 10 plus 3 units 
is equal to 43. Now look at this picture. Here they have shown the blocks. So how many blocks are here? Let us count. For that we have to see how many groups of blocks they have formed. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here they have made 5 group of blocks. That is 5 tens. Plus how many loose or single blocks are here? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total 6 loose blocks are here. 5 tens plus 6 loose blocks. Total how many? 56. Total how many? 56. So children, did you understand our today's topic? That is counting in groups. Today we have learned how to count the objects in groups. Before you used to count with your fingers or by drawing the objects. Yes or no? But now, today onwards, you should count the things or objects in groups. Because that is easier as we have learned in this lesson. So what is your work now children? You should go in this topic again. Has to read and understand the method of counting in groups. And do tell your parents how to count the things in tens and how to write them in tens and units and then together. Okay, that is your work. Whatever things you are having inside your home, whatever objects and if they are many in numbers, you should learn to count that objects in groups. And write them in as a tens plus units and then the whole number. Okay. Till that take care and be safe at home. Thank you.